Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We are here once again on a new day. I have This is a new day of recording. We're going to jump on in. And previously, we fought the big bad boss. The final, or at least what I'm going to assume, is the final true boss of the game. And we're going to try and do it again. We're going to try and beat him this time. I'm going to play as Kane. We haven't played as Kane yet. And he's got some cool uh, reworks with his um, lucky foot. He now basically has PhD off the bat. So he's pretty good. So we're going to jump in as Kane here. Of course, he gets to start with like a key and stuff. So pretty useful. And we've got a dice room right off the bat, which is kind of odd. Uh, our item room. Ooh, Sucky Miss Kiss is pretty good. Also, I never realized he starts with such good speed and damage. Kane's insane. He starts with, with speed, damage, and basically PhD now. That's, that's great. <laughs> Either way. I'm going to be happy with this. I'm going to try and get a good run going. I have been, um, I've been sort of... I wouldn't exactly say spoil, but I've been given some hints on some stuff I need to do. And I don't know why I need to do it, but I'm going to do it anyways. And one of those things is I need to come in here and drop a trinket. Apparently, dropping a trinket in there does something. I don't know what, but we'll find out if we manage to make it home. Um, and get back to uh, back to this floor again. So health is a little bit waning now that I just took that damage. Uh, I think Kane only starts with two health, so I'm hoping Succubus Kisses here will help us out. Of course, contact damage as well will give us black hearts, but until we got something like Unicorn Stump or some other way of giving us invincibility on contact, we really don't want to be running into every enemy we see, do we? Um, let's grab that and let's fight our boss straight off the bat. We've already been to our shop. Blighted Irvum, uh, one of the one of the oddest first floor bosses in my opinion, because it's like, I really imagine, imagine you've, you're, fair, you're playing Pioneer of Isaac for the first time ever, and you get Blighted Irvum as your very first boss. I think Brimstone is a very sort of late game ability for enemies. Imagine seeing that on your first, your, your, your first um, delve into the game, you're like, holy shit. It's a, it's a brimstone laser. Do all enemies fire these brimstone lasers? What is this? That'd be crazy. That'd be absolutely crazy. Here we go. Curse of the Lost. Not too bad. Got some stonies. And we're jumping in. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to say, I've been looking forward to playing Kane for a long time. We're finally playing as him. We got our cartridge here. Um, yeah, finally playing as him. Did that red poop make a fire sound? It, it, red poop's meant to be like burning poops. Like red hot poops. I never even made that connection. In the whole time I played Isaac, I never made the uh, connection that red poops are supposed to be hot. I just kind of thought they were red. <laughs> I, I guess it makes sense, like red hot shit. Is that is that like a, a thing? <laughs> I don't know. But apparently it is. Apparently Edmund's having some real spicy food. It mu That must be the idea behind it. But we've got a lot of keys right now. Anarchist Cookbook, honestly, I'm going to take it because it is a book and apparently it has been changed somewhat. Uh, apparently it is now better, but not in the way you'd want it to be. So I don't really know what that means, but we'll find out, I'm sure. Uh, didn't really seem to do much else extra that room there. Uh, we didn't get anything better out of it. But yeah, we're really hoping to carve a very, very good run here so that we can go to, the, uh, go to home and actually get something going on. Um, Latchkey gave us a spirit heart. I didn't even notice that. I did get hit once, but I didn't lose my deal of the devil. So we're still we're still kicking it. I'm really hoping we can get some of the new deal of the devil items as well, because there's some cool ones in there. The biggest one is the control tiers, like the occultist one, the call or something like that, from uh, Anti Bear. Uh, I know that they're back, and I really want to see them. This is a hard room. This is a hard room. My God, chasing gapers in rooms like this is scary. We got a tinted rock though, and we can be very happy about that. Wow. Okay, this guy managed to hit me. Still love that blood spurting effect from their heads. It looks so good. Um, is there anywhere else we want to search around first? Let's have a little look. Okay, some, some flies in here. Some of these dudes as well. The pooters. The pooters are actually real dangerous now. They fire so fast. They fire so, so fast. It, the two shot though with uh, our 4.2 damage. There you go. Uh, I've got Anarchist Cookbook back up, so I'm going to go do our boss. Uh, because we have two Spirit Hearts and we basically will kill it with this Anarchist Cookbook and definitely kill ourselves. Especially Duke of Flies looking absolutely dapper. If we don't kill him with this, we didn't even hit him. We didn't even hit him. That's mental. <laughs> Anarchist Cookbook. Why? 
I guess it is for anarchy. It's meant to be random. But this guy is like such a wimp to bomb damage. If you hit him with a bomb, he just goes down. So it would have been lovely, lovely, lovely to hit him with a bomb. But apparently we can't get that lucky when the room is literally filled with them. It's because uh, Anarchist Cookbook like barely ever evenly distributes across the whole room. It more favors one side of the room than anything else. I'm trying to get in there and kill him before he starts summoning loads of flies. But yeah, with, with this starting damage, we're really, like, really well off at the minute. And we, we might dip to the alt path now, I'm not sure. It depends what our deal with the devil ends up being. Mum's heal. Apparently, Mum's heal now gives contact damage as well. So unfortunately, that's not very good. But we did get the health associated with going down to the alt path, so I will do it. But yeah, apparently, Mum's heal makes it so that you can uh, deal a bit of contact damage now, which kind of works quite well with, um, with our lovely little um, setup we got going on with... Uh, Serpent's Kiss. But yeah, we're in Trost now. Of course, a harder floor, but I came here for the uh, hopefully better item rooms. Um, at least a chance at better item rooms. And yeah, let's let's kind of see what we get. Uh, we're not going to go for key pieces or anything. We are just here for the extra uh, loot, and then we're going to head back down to normal path because we want to try and figure out this new secret. I know that we've still got a bunch of achievements to do. Um, go for random. Honestly, very happy with that. Tech 2's great. Slower fire rate, but... Wait. Oh, wait. This is a bit bizarre. This isn't how this is meant to work. Tech 2 has taken over my tears. So now my tears are also lasers. That's not how Tech 2 is meant to work. I think that's a bit of a bug, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, actually. That's, that's that's not how Tech 2 is meant to work. Either way, I'm not going to complain. This is, this is pretty good. Oh, my God. We got a blackout of it, though, so I ain't going to complain. But yeah, everything that runs into us is essentially going to die because of Mum's uh, mum's heal. It's, it's not a huge amount of contact damage, to be fair. Oh, that enemy's really cool. Have we seen that enemy before? What's all these gas clouds as well? Are they poisonous? I do not know. Push them into the fire. Uh, see if we can get a spirit heart. We really want as much health as possible here. Uh, no spirit heart. That's fine. Yeah, we're not going to get the knife piece, I don't think. I don't think it's necessary. Oh, we might as well go take that pill, because we're, we're always going to get good pills. Oh, damn it. It's the bomb, dude. I didn't even realize. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop this down. Sadly, nothing out of that. Oh, there's a tinted rock in here as well. It still didn't get it. Damn you, small rock. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, pills are always going to be good for us. Range up. So we might as well go and buy that pill in here as well, actually. Thinking about it. Knowing what our pill rotation is, is pretty powerful. Teller pills. <laughs> uh, thank you. I can't remember. What, what were we holding prior to this? I should probably go back and get it. Uh, remember, we do need a teleport, um, so we probably do want to hold a teleport. Oh, no, wait, we found that skull, didn't we? We know that we can get a full card. If we if we keep our bombs and we're vigilant, we can get a full card. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're firing tech. Normally, you get tech 2 alongside your normal tiers. Now we've got tech 2 and technology. I, I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to complain about it. It seems relatively powerful. Um, it, just, it just kind of confused me a little bit as all. Well. But I love technology. And with small rock as well now, we've actually got some good, good damage here. Some very good damage indeed. Uh, we don't need to do much more else on this floor. Let's bomb you. That's a good amount of bombs on you there. Yep, there you go. That was fantastic. You got annihilated. Awesome. I love that dross boss. Dross boss. It's a dross boss. That's some, um, oop, that's some bombs at least. And the matchstick, which I will take. Uh, let's go down to normal floor and head back onto the normal path. Um, one thing that's pretty cool, by the way, when we're going back up... Uh, in fact, do you know what? We should, we should have stayed on the alt path. Because when we're going back up, I believe all of the item rooms, if we haven't taken them, will still have their items. So essentially, we can get extra items by going to the alt path. So maybe we should have stuck to the alt path there. Um, I'll, go, I'll go back to the caves after this floor if we have the bombs requisite to do so. Um, because we can still get back to, uh, we can still get back to the depth afterwards. So I think it's, it, I think it kind of works now. But yeah, our damage right now is really, really good. Um, we're, we're killing it. Absolutely killing it. Oh yeah, I'd definitely like to know what's causing the, uh, the tech synergy. It'd be interesting to find out. Hello, Monty. I'm not going to, uh, take anything from him. I'm just going to take his money and leave. He, he laid out some coins and he's like, hey guy, look, there's some free, free players for my game. And I'm like, no, I'll just take the money. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Sorry about your little game. I'm, uh, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to take the money and leave. Sorry to be a bit rude. 
Oh, I love the new tech sound and visuals as well. It looks so much better. Like, one thing I've been seeing a lot, like, I say I say seeing a lot. I've been seeing it on the Discord uh, for Isaac and the Reddit for Isaac, which is not a good metric of the player base. But a lot of people are complaining about Repentance, like, for no reason. <laughs> it's like, it's too hard. It's like, shut up. No, it's not. <laughs> like, it's meant to be hard. If it's too hard, play normal. The, the only complaint that I'm seeing that's valid so far, the Witness could do with a bigger fight room. That would be nice. But it's not necessary. We, we beat him without it. And um, it would be good if the shops didn't get downgraded. I like the shops being less useful. But I, I kind of... At first I was like, oh, that's kind of a cool idea, downgrading the shops. But then I realized you pay for those upgrades. The shop gets upgraded when you pay for it. Maybe just change the thresholds for the, uh, for the payments required. So you have to pay more into your donation machine before you get the shop upgrades or something. So that not everyone has them right off the bat. But yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, you pay for those. <laughs> Like, that's an upgrade that you get, and then you just, in hard mode, it's like, nope. No, you didn't. So, maybe, yeah, that's not the best idea. Okay, guillotine is kind of annoying for, um, for hitting enemies on straights like this. For the most part, though, not a big deal. Uh, we've been everywhere yet again. Just go for it. I'm going to use Anarchist Cookbook each time, because we've got the HP. And it makes boss fights a lot easier if it actually hits, as you just saw. Angel deal here is great for us. Um, let's see what we end up getting. What the hell's this thing? Urn of Souls. Right, let's go and have a little look, see what this does, shall we? Um, Platinum God. Urn of Souls. It's definitely new. It looks awesome. The Urn of Souls. Where is that? I'm not seeing it yet. Let's just search for it. Why not? Urn... Urn of Souls, there it is. Enemies now create a soul on death, which is automatically sucked into the urn, giving it plus one charge. Many bosses create two to three souls. When activated, the soul can be fired uh, as a high damage flamethrower. Oh my god. A charge is consumed roughly, roughly every 0 0.5 seconds. Multi-part enemies, such as Envy, um, create a soul each part killed. Maximum of 20 souls held. So basically, it's Jar of Flies, but for uh, souls and as a flamethrower. So we're going go, to go to this floor now. And yeah, we, we should be able to get extra items this way by going to the mines. So now that I know that, there's definitely a more defined way. Because things that you leave in boss fights, like the hearts we saw, and item rooms, like the trinket I put down, and the um, the items in, in item rooms, all stay there. Ow, he got me. Oh, the soul animation's really cool as well. Right, well, we'll get up to 10 souls and then we'll use it. I'm going to just try and kill this guy first. Away from me, beast. There we go. We got him. We got you as well. Okay, we're up to five souls. Yeah, like I said, let's try and get to ten so we can actually sustain it for a little bit. Curse of Darkness here is making this room significantly harder. Oh, my God. We get so many souls. I hope this helps out for the boss. Angel deals, definitely better. Now, there we go. We're up to ten. Oh, it's this dude, the big bomb guy. Look at this thing. Mega bomb! Oh, I love that so much. That's like the coolest new enemy. That's awesome. That's so cool. Holy shit. Um, I will use this a few times, yes. Angel chests relock themselves. I'll go down to three keys. Okay, it, it, it's empty. It's empty. Oh my god. And you can still get souls from the enemies you kill with it. That's even better. That's even better. Oh my god. This is so cool. What an awesome item. Right. Fruitcake. 100%. I haven't had fruitcake in a while. And fruitcake's now got additional effects because there's new items. New tier effects means... Oh, Fruitcake works with technology now as well. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, it does. It didn't really work very well before. Now it seems to. Diplopia? I don't think Diplopia is going to do much for us. I probably should have just Diplopia'd the, uh, the Soul Heart there, right? Let's see what boss item we get. Maybe we'll Diplopia it. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's brilliant. We're getting loads of different tier effects now.
It's Singe. Yep, he, he did hit me, but we annihilated him with this. Yep, let's go Let's go and uh, buy Diplopia and get an extra health upgrade. Why the hell not? Diplopia, for those of you that don't know, just lets you double any item. So now we get two of those. We need as much health as possible, so duplicating a health upgrade, while maybe seeming a bit pointless, is good enough for me. So now we go down. And we're ready to go. So we need to, there's two item rooms that should have items in them. We need ourselves our teleport card. So let's hope we don't get Curse of Darkness. We didn't. So we can we can now look for our actual item. Oh, this is so good. And that's a lot of souls too. The multi-part enemies giving us all those souls is awesome. It seems to affect the flamethrower as well, maybe. It seems kind of awkward to use a little bit, maybe. Ow. Shouldn't have lost that. I still really like it, though. Um, okay, still need to be looking out for our tinted skull. It was pretty obvious before, but I don't know if that's just because I was, like, looking for tinted stuff. It might not be as obvious this time. Definitely want more health before we go down. I would, I would definitely say. Good, good. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Yeah, like it's a little it's a little bit short range, so it can be a little tricky to use. Oh my god, I need to stop getting hit. Whoa, I think Fist came up and grabbed that dude. What the heck? I will take it. I'm a gambler. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, wait. Oh, so now we've got normal tears back. So now we've got tech 2 and normal tiers. So I don't know what happened to our normal tiers before, but we've got them back now. Pills are good. I can see forever. I'm hoping we get a shop here that's going to be useful for us. It seems like just holding this over, that's a good way to destroy rocks. I might play this dude um, because this is our last floor. We only need like, one more key. God damn it. Why would the troll bombs... Item? Fuck. <laughs> That's definitely not what we wanted to see. Oh my god. Oh, and I got hit as well. Look at Soul Heart, uh, Black Heart even. So, damn, we need to make some health up pretty quick. Yeah, that, I'll, that, that's it. I'll come back for you if I need to, because I want to go to my shop. I am getting hit a little bit more because of, um... Yep, because of Monstro's Lung. Not Monstro's Lung, what am I about? Um... Guillotine. I'm really bad with guillotine. This is a good run, but our health is definitely not supportive of it. Seven cent item, I'll take it. Sackhead is good enough. Okay. Yeah, definitely bad that we ended up getting uh <laughs> ended up getting nine lives there. Screwed us over a little bit. I I, I didn't even think nine lives was uh Still in that pool. I thought it had changed, but apparently not. Apparently not. We definitely need that. Right, have we found our tinted thingy yet? I mean, we've got a stars card. What am I on about? We could just, like, go. Like, we don't, we don't need to worry about if we've got a star. Really? Didn't expect the hand there. I was expecting the foot. That's so cool. Oh my god, this is tough. We're not going to have enough health really to do this unless we get a lot of health while we're going down. We did get a lot of health while going down the first time though, so it's plausible. Oh my god, the hand reaches out so much further than before. I'm going to take this. Go in here. I can't feasibly take either of those. Let's just start card out. And we didn't look for our um, our skull, did we? Let's uh, let's take a little deeper look around for the skull. Oh, we don't need the skull anymore. I I'm, I'm so dumb. What am, I, what am I on about? I'm going crazy. Don't mind me. I'm just going crazy. Okay. Let's uh, go back to our starting room, which was all the way down there. I've gone the wrong way. Damn, yeah, our HP is bad. <laughs> We've got to get through Mausoleum with this HP. 
I definitely shouldn't have taken guillotine. I know that it's a bad item. Guillotine has always been a bad item. Um, but still, I'm going to take the full card anyways because I've just seen the, uh, the, the skull here. It might be useful. Because the thing is, you've got to make your way back to the start. So I'm guessing we can skip some floors like this one when we go back up. Right. This Is it this room here? This one? Nope, it's this one, isn't it? There you go. Oh, this time it actually took the negative from us. I never realized it did that. Is there a difference between using the Polaroid negative on this area? Are you seriously going to give me a soul heart I can't get to? Actually, we can get to it. We can get to it. All right, let's use this for a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is giving us a lot of HP now. Just in case. Sadly, nothing. Every time I use this, I get hurt, I swear. Turn that guy into a poop. Temperance. That can give us a soul heart, so I'll take it. It didn't, but it can. Definitely want to use the kill switch there. That's a lot of souls, too. There's a really small dude. Well, what is, what is it that's turning everything into poop? That's great. Definitely would like fire rate right here as well. Good, good. There's our boss fight. Well, I say boss fight. It's our nerd. We're definitely getting quicker at this, though. 21 minutes into here is very, very fast. I'm glad about that. It's gone. Just get over it. Good. Oh, this is... It's so saddening listening to this. Power card. No, thank you. So... Is there an item... I know that this is probably stupid. I was just about to say, is there an item room on this floor? And does it correspond to the mausoleum one? Okay, good. Fast bombs obviously isn't great, but I will take it. Cool. We got an item room there. We should definitely look around for item rooms then. Seems like. Good, good. But this item room should already be taken. Because that's our depth too. Let's have a little look, see. Yep, that one's already taken. Great, so this is playing out exactly how I thought. Oh, it's sticking all these things to him. And there's some pennies too. The tech two uh, being affected by, um... Oh my god. The tech two being affected by... Um, fruitcake is so nice. Nice. Okay, this, this like, little sucky thing that we keep getting, the abyss thing, is so good. So, so good. I should be using my flamethrower more often, really. Let's get it, let's get it ready. Yes, yeah, so we can go for this floor. Please say we get another few soul hearts. So, mine's two. Oh, it, wait, it actually takes you back through the floors you went to. Okay, so, no, it doesn't work the way I thought, then. It actually takes you back through the floors you went to. So, it just lets you get skipped item rooms. What the hell is this, dude? He is definitely new. Yeah, it, it only lets you go through skipped item rooms. Uh, like, through, through the, sorry, through the floors you've been to. So skipped item rooms aren't really a thing here too much. Definitely some upgraded enemies here, which I love. Like these mole guys. I am wondering if they only show up in this area. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess so. Euthanasia shot there. Yeah, so this is taken. So basically all of our item rooms from now on are going to be taken. Okay, good. It's a little um, pop pop tears, whatever they're called, going on. Strength card. I think I'll keep my full card just to skip a floor. And I'll probably just skip this next one here. Like, this does work, right? Yeah, it does. Cool. So you can use a full card to skip a full floor. That's pretty nice. Oh, cracked key. That's that's uh, that's one of the things that we need, I believe. 
I believe the crack key is what we need. Nice. Oh my god. Hear it, hearing them do fight, it's it's crazy. Big leeches. Big leeches are scary. Oh no. Die, big leech. Can't quite get him. Different card. No, thank you. Definitely glad I used the uh, thingy now, knowing that I have to carry something. Okay, good. These guys are the pro probably some of the hardest enemies, so definitely glad to get rid of them. Um, we might as well play this and try and get some soul hearts, you know? Like, we could, we could get a few soul hearts out of this. Or not. Instead, we'll just bomb both of these. Hey, we got one. I was hurtful, but apparently being hurtful is not a good idea down here. Gotcha. And... Oh, my God. I wonder how many rooms have been made specifically for this area. Because it technically kind of is a new floor. On basement two. So we need to go to the basement one item room. We've got to make sure of that. A lot of guys. I wonder if we'll get the, monster, the, the double monstro room again. So this cracked key seems to be a red key consumable. Like, as you can see, there's a, there's a red key door, really. There's a red key door hole above us here, look. This is strange. That was an odd enemy. Yeah, definitely do not have the right HP to do this, by the way. 100% will die. Right, so basement one, we're back. Oh my god. The, the the crazy mulligans and stuff. They look awesome. Oh, we got a black heart for that. And we, we got hit at the same time. So we gained nothing from it. Great. Tears up. Thank you. Oh my god. Uh, we should definitely play this dude. I'm trying to quickly destroy these poops though. So I don't end up hurting myself. Well, that works out. Don't Explosivo. Oh my god, I thought it was going to Explosivo, my dude. Hello, little bummer. Little bum friend. Pay out with a heart, please. You motherfucker. That ain't a heart. Get bugger to you there. Oh, fruitcake is so fun. Fruitcake is one of the most fun items. But yeah, we definitely take double damage down here. I wasn't 100% sure before, but we definitely do. Oh, euthanasia shots. My god. So now if we go in here, we should see something new. Oh, it's the, it's the same thing. The the cracked key. Um, it, We just got another one of them. Okay, so we got what we needed. Oh, turns that mulligan into a poop. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I need to do with it, but I did say I bet you need to use the red key up there. But then the second time we realized that you don't get the red key every time. So, I guess we do something with a cracked key once we're up here. Which essentially is the red key. So, we're, we're in here. I guess I'll take that. Uh, right, so... There's a card in here. Justice. That, last time that gave us a hero font, so... Good to know that that isn't a guarantee. Uh, so, we're looking for a door for, to go in. It should be an outline. We should see an outline somewhere. Let's have a look. Ah, there it is. There it is. Um, crack key. Ooh, hello. You unlocked Kane? What? <laughs> I don't really understand. Okay. Okay. I unlocked Kane. That was, uh, that was strange. All right. So we got to do the boss fight. I'm not fucking ready. I am not ready. But let's go for it. Dogma's definitely going to be really, really hard. The second boss is a bit more dodge heavy. Oh, the nightmares are happening. The nightmares are happening. What up, Dogma? Oh, I love this boss so much. What? Well, excuse me. It hit me immediately upon me starting the fight. I wonder how nine lives is going to work here. Oh, that was close. Yep, that was stupid. 
That was stupid of me. We're not even to the second phase yet. And we've already been hit a ton of times. Okay, second phase. He's reborn and turn into the... Yeah, we're not, we're not even going to live through this phase. I don't even know how nine lives will work in here. But I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah, we died. Yeah, we, we, we can't do this with nine lives. But we did unlock something. Whoa, that's a new attack. I mean, I suppose it gets us like used to the attack patterns. Sadly, nine lives kind of ruined this. Oh, that's interesting. If you stand, stand in that too long, it kind of like grabs you. Interesting. But we um, we unlocked Kane, so to say. Like I said, I really don't know what that actually means for us. But this is um, perpetual death cycle. Can we do anything else in this room when it's dark? Because we weren't in while it was light. I didn't even think about that. Dogma. Yeah, so we definitely need to be coming down here with essentially full health, really. And we came down here with, like, less than that and nine lives. Perpetual death cycle. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ow. We just keep dying. The flamethrower did a really good job, but unfortunately, you have to kill things to, to recharge it, and we just can't do that right now. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just enjoying, like, retaking this fight to be able to learn a bit more about it. This is, like, probably one of the best fights in Isaac, design-wise. It's such a cool thematic thing. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens after we beat the, uh, the, the next boss. Ah, oh, we almost made it through that phase, you know. We were, like, one pixel off killing him. Which I know that doesn't really matter because we weren't going to get through the next phase, but still. Oh, okay, that attack is absurd if it, if it comes out at the wrong angle. Seems for the most part, this, this phase is pretty easy. You get hit once or twice, but for the most part, you, if you keep your distance, you should be okay. The next phase seems really, really hard. And then, obviously, you've got the next boss after that. That's the biggest problem with this. You've got to really preserve your health until after. So maybe we want to come down here with, like, a full health pill or something. And try that out. Right. Last two deaths. We might as well get them over with quickly. Dogma, I love you, but kill me. There you go. We have died. I was killed by this thing. Indeed we were. Let's uh, let's go and take a little look what uh, what exactly happened here. Uh, so, Kane? Let's have a look. I don't see anything different with Kane. I missed something. So, was it just a challenge thing? I saw I unlocked a few challenges on my achievements. Um, We did unlock some challenges there, but I don't know. Is there anything on the post? Oh, wait, there's a, there's a new thing. There's a new thing. What? Oh, my God. Kane? No destiny. Bag of crafting. There's, um... So... That, uh, that old 17 plus characters thing there, Edmund. Um, okay, so I was told that this was to do with the 34 secret, and I guess I know why now, because there's 17 new characters, I think. I'm guessing, like, let's have a look. Is How different is he? Like, he's, he, he looks visually a bit different. Oh, our space bar is, like, different too. We have to use Q and then swing. Item room. Aristotoid. Oh, what the hell? So, what does this do then? So, we take the soul heart, the bomb, double bombs. Can we do anything with this? Oh, it picks it up. Okay. Um, does it hurt enemies? Can we, like, pick enemies up? It does hurt them. It seems very weak, though. Okay, it can kill them. I'm guessing we've got to collect souls here. Oh, we have a little um, we have a little thing with eight pips in it down uh, down in the where the crafting bag is. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I need to restart. I need to find a new item room. 
I think I get it. I think I get it. Right. Take the item. And then you take that, you take that, you take that. Ooh. What does it craft it into then? Does it craft it into like a new random item or like a mega consumable? Because we don't get the item, like the item's gone. So is this like a new... Uh, this is really unique. So I'm, I'm guessing that this, the alternate character thing that we just got, the, the like mi mirror characters, I guess I'm going to call them. Uh, I don't really know what exactly they're being called at the moment. Um, but I guess with these, they're just like harder, harder, more twisted versions of the characters that we know. Like, because this is very different to how Kane normally functions. This isn't like Kane at all. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try this guy out properly in the, uh, in the next episode or something. I'm not 100% sure. I, I guess we could, we want to probably try and, um, and beat the big boss before we start working on these guys though. So maybe I'll leave testing this guy out until we, um... It's good knockback until we uh, manage to actually beat the last boss because I really want to do that. I really, really want to do that. And that run, that run had, it had the legs until we took nine lives. Until we took nine lives. But we made it and we uh, we unlocked this and we now know how to do it in the future as well. So for any of you watching uh, that really want to know how to do this, if you, if you didn't really get the idea of it, it seems like if you drop a trinket or, an, or leave an item in a boss room or something, then you uh, you get yourself. Um... Can we pick stuff up over rocks? One minute. Let's try. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, we can't. We can't cheese it. We can't cheese it to grab stuff. Okay, we're two items off. There's a battery charge. Well, I wonder if we can use that on it. But yeah, you go into an item room or or whatever, and you drop a trinket, and it t it turns into a cracked key, and you can use that. Okay, we're well, one item off. We are one item off. Well, let's try and spawn a penny, maybe? This seems really interesting, though. I like the idea of this a lot. You have to sacrifice your consumables for items, but your item rooms contain more consumables. Okay, you can't do it with trinkets. Good to know. Come on, a single penny, please. I want to see what this does before we go for the boss fight. Come on, game. Give me what I need. The fiery boy. There you go. And then... So it doesn't even give you the item that's in the item room. So then we go like this. Oh, we've got to charge it. Okay. And then we get a little horn. That is really interesting. Okay. We're going to leave it there for this guy. I don't want to play a full run with this dude yet. That's But that seems really cool. We're going to jump back into him. Um, Like, I don't know when but probably uh, probably as soon as we manage to beat the new boss but we know how to unlock the rest of these now this is very interesting i'm i'm really like hyped up for this oh it's like it's dad doing the uh it's like a deeper voice is that dad oh it sounded like him that's cool right i am hyped for this either way i hope you guys enjoyed that and i'll see you guys in the next one